Hey guys, I'm Plasma here, and as you see, we are playing Pokemon Coliseum. Now, originally, I wanted to do the sequel to this game first, but I figured it probably would be better off and make a lot more sense to some people who've never seen this game before to start the series off from the very beginning with, of course, this game. Now, for those who don't know, this is similar in the sense of regular ordinary Pokemon, except it adds one key element to it: Shadow Pokemon. You will see exactly what I mean once I get started. And as always with what we're going to be doing, we're going to be starting a new game. I made sure that the file that I'm overwriting is not something that I'm too worried about losing. So let's get started. My name, my name is Endo for this specific thing. Endo, okay, yes. Ah, Skarmory in the desert. A uh, place in the desert. For those who don't know this, we'll, we'll figure this out. I'll let you guys figure this out first. Who have never seen this before. There's the vice. Oh yeah. Stealing things like a boss. There's an Umbreon. Of course, I don't know why... If there's an Umbreon Espeon, why is he only the Umbreon with him? Why is the Espeon just sitting there? It makes no sense to me. And off in this super cool motor car. With one wheel. Well, that sucks for them. <laughs> Got an unusual sun thing. Or something. I don't know what that white line on my face was. And still a little bit more of the cutscenes. At least briefly. And now we are officially moving around. Now one of the first things I will mention real quick. When you're playing Pokemon Coliseum, it's a little bit different in the sense of if you pause it, there's no option to save. The only way you can save is to, by finding PCs. Oh, two people being all thug-like, walking around. Fwa! We sure pigged out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. It adds to the flavor, I swear. <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too. Boss will sure be sure to fix us up good with big rewards, too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. What is in that bag? I have no idea. And they just drive off. Okay, most pointless cutscene for some people that don't understand. But of course, for everyone else understands, you know what's gonna happen. We're on the TV! Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Elko... Eklo, not Elko. Eklo Cannon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Okay, so, like I said, that was to a group of guys known as Team Snagum. For anyone that did not already know. Team Snagum is a gang of people abduct... of Pokemon abductors, my bad, who have already marked... been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. Um, nothing to see here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, oh. By accident, I was just doing that as a joke and actually got the next thing. Yo, wait, wait up. Hey, my name's Willie. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Anyway, I look at it. It's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. Well, of course, my name's not Joe. So, what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Sure. 
Yeah, that's the spirit. All right, all right, all right. Over here, this way. Yeah, I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Vroom, vroom. Let's roll. First battle, right on the map. Now, something you'll also notice a little bit different is in Pokemon Coliseum and its sequel, your fights take place as double battles for almost every single thing that you do. Of course, the main ones, Umbreon and Espeon. Personally, between the two, I like Umbreon better. And technically, without trying to make um, statements, Umbreon is a little bit more of the favorite to this guy, too. Now, real quick also, one thing I want to do for people who have never played a game older than Diamond, like before Diamond, everything pre-Diamond, the way that the attacks and special attack stuff have, are set up are completely different. It's no longer based on actual statistics, like for example, Secret Power and Bite are, no Secret Power and Bite are normally attacking moves. However, Everything before Diamond had a little bit differently, where they based the damages based on the type. Normal types would do attack damage, while dark attacks would do special attack damage, for example. So, in this case, I'd probably be better off using an attacking move for Umbreon, like Secret Power. While for Espeon, of course, it's Espeon. It's special attacks high in the run order, so... And that was easy. And of course, either way you look at it, it was going to do damage. Not enough. Accuracy fell. That's something I want to see real quick. Um, actually, you know what, we'll just use Helping Hand. I usually don't use status moves too, too much. And it's down. Now something I will say real quick. With uh, normal Pokemon games, I don't play statistically. I play based on the aesthetic for it. Like, I don't choose Pokemon most of the- well, sometimes I don't choose Pokemon based on their normal strength. I choose it based on which one I find is my favorite. Which, probably is gonna get a good bit of hate from that, but I don't care because... That's the way I've seen Pokemon. You just play for what you like, what- not what's always the best. Tch, wiped out. I still need seasoning. I don't got money. But that being said, in this game, it's- and the sequel, it's kind of- difficult to make it so that way you're specifically EV training as you're going along because there's almost no way to get wild Pokemon to appear but yeah you're tough real tough you did a real number on us hey I know why not test your skills at Phoenix City it's out west of here you'll find trainers who are way better than me there you should go out there and get some battling in All right whoops Stop talking, I'm not trying to talk to you, okay. I'm gonna go in here real quick first because I messed up by mistake. And let me see. Nothing. Okay, I thought there was a PC in there, never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. Alright. Off to Phoenix City. Off of my fancy motorbike. Oasis Town, pretty much. Oh, there's the uh, bag from earlier that I made mention of. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this, it won't stop squirming. It makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little, little while longer. Help, someone let me out. Kidnappers. That tape didn't keep her yap shut. Hey, quit your shouting. Oh, drat. Did that punk there hear all that? 
ouch. Now you kind of dropped the bag a little bit too hard. Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. Yeah, right, sure. Shady, shady guy, folly. What is it with people and having just the same set of Pokemon? I mean, the last guy was two Zigzag Goons and now we have two Whispers. Alright, so let's take these guys out. So I'm gonna try this this time. And do this. So that worked for that Whisper. I wanna see if the bite works for the lower level. So close, but still no. Why does everyone want to keep beating up Espeon? This should just take it out this time. Confusion normally took it out in one hit, so we should be fine there. God, you're a lot you're tougher than you look. And you're gonna experience that throughout this whole game. Me being unable to actually talk properly. Because anyone that's known me. I sometimes don't always have the best of luck of trying to be literate with what I'm saying. You took out my Whismur. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Huh, wait a second, that face. Might you be Team Snagum's... What? What? What's going on out here? Eek, somebody! Robbers! They're robbers! You, you be quiet. We're no robbers. We're kidnappers. Get it? Kidnappers? Well, they're definitely not bright. What? You dingbat! Don't shoot off your mouth! Don't get all happy just on account of winning this once. Next time we meet, I'll trash you, your Pokemon, and all. Oh, yuck! There's someone inside there. God, this is tied good and tight. Can you believe those people? What a horrible thing to do. Oh wait, I'm moving around. Okay, please, we need your help. Sorry, I wasn't trying to do that. Sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Untie, undo the knot. Yeah, sure, I'll help out. Endo tugged hard on the tightly knotted rope. Knot gradually loosened. Endo undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. <gasps> it's a girl! And there's the female protagonist. Phew, thank goodness, I'm saved. Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Phoenix Sinley, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Real quick, what I want to say, um, if anyone caught that earlier, those guys were saying that I looked like I was t Team Snag M's, and then it was cut off. So, um... We'll see what happens later. Oh, is that so? Thank you. And, uh, you are? Oh, so you're named Endo. I am... I don't know what to name her, so... I think I'm just going to name keep her as a Rue. Maybe? I don't know. Let me think. Eh, yeah, I'll keep it as Ru Rue. Rui. Something. My name, I'm just going to call it Rue. My name is Rue. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys, did they use a peculiar Pokemon? What type of peculiar Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh, no. No, that's fine, then. 
Well, it's easy to see some things on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. Mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey Endo, I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? And from that statement, we made it so that way she's going to follow us for the rest of the entire game. Thank you, Endo. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If you're with me, Endo, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for a while. Ryo became the partner. Rue. Rue. Rui. Rui, Rue, Rue, or Rui? I don't know. So, uh, the mayor, this is Phoenix City. The uh, mayor's house is over here because I've played this before. Hmm? I'd guess you're a traveling trainer. Hmm. I like what I see in your expression. Fu fu fu. I have a feeling I might see you again somewhere. Foreshadowing. And there's the mayor. Ah, you must be travelers. Welcome to Phoenix City. I am SK, the mayor. SK. SK, that's a weird name. Now, you wanted to see me. Is there something that I might be able to assist you with? Um. Er. Oh? What may I do for a pretty young lady like you? I. I saw it! Saw it? Now, what did you see? These nuts. <laughs> I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. And that and that Pokemon would attack people. Oh, oh, oh my. Pokemon like a fighting machine, and it attacks people. Now, if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It's true. It's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm, I see. I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, no, no. There is no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish, especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. I'll ask that they give you me a little time on this matter. I promise we will get some useful information for you. Oh yes, you appear to be Pokemon trainers yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's a breathtakingly beautiful stadium befitting our Oasis City. That's the uh, stadium that I was told to go to before. So to do that, we have to go this way. But I'm going to go over here real quick because I want to double check something. Nope, I was wrong. I thought there was going to be something over there. Because uh, you'll see it when you see it. You'll understand what I mean when it happens.